So I found a way to get maximum 3 mirror combo with high ping. Playing at high ping means we will not be able to do the quick swap technique of Alatum. I prepared 6 different combos and I assumed that you already watched I went to lose and Sefi plays Alhatham combo guide. This is a more in-depth guide on how to do Alhatham's combo if you are having a hard time maximizing especially the timing. Let me introduce some of the combos available and all of these combos will do a 6-3 mirror projection attacks. And 4 means 4 normal attacks and 3 means 3 normal attacks and I guess you can see the pattern. C is for charge attack and S for elemental skill. There will be dash after each normal attack and charge attack string for faster deployment of the next attack. All these combos, I counted every single hit. I have 90% quit weight with foods using R5 Iron Sting. So I'm sure almost all my attacks will be doing crit. And if not, I will multiply it to my crit damage and put it in my spreadsheet. This is 100% no RNG result of each combo. The actual result, actual numbers. All these numbers are dendro damage from the start of Alhatham's burst up to the 6-3 mirror projection trigger. The results is as shown. This combo will be the weakest, so it will be our base comparison. This combo is skill first before doing charge attack. We aren't allowed to perform charge attack before the fourth mirror projection because we will use up the three mirror uptime. And perhaps that's the reason this combo does lesser damage than the charge attack first before skill. Next is the N2C spam, charge attack first before skill, doing 2.25% more damage. Next is the N3 spam. Also charge attack first before the skill, doing 2.61% more damage. And it seems like N3 is better than N2C spam. Next is the same N2C spam but a little different intro, which is N4 N3, 4.19% more damage. And it seems like N4 N3 is a better combo at the start. Next is the Ungabunga. I did not follow certain spam patterns like N3 or N2C, I just used charge attack N2, N3 whenever I like. But I kept the major rule in the combo, N4, N3, NC as the opening attack and used the skill right after the 4th projection. And it seems like mixing N3 and charge attacks are better, 6.2% more damage. And lastly the N3 C spam. Same opening attack string, N4, N3, NC, then N3 C. I'm not able to perform the next N3C because the 4th projection already happened. I had to cut it off to N2 only to immediately use my skill to keep the 3 mirror stacks. Then N3C again. 6.44% more damage. 
we are now seeing the pattern and 3c is the best combo there is but there are major rules over all these attack strings start everything with n4 n3 and c then you can unga bunga the damage difference from unga bunga method and n 3 c spam is 0.24% only so don't feel so bad if you fail to do the best combo try to do as much n 3 c or n 3 as possible it has quick animation, doing quick hits per seconds rather than doing N4 or other long combo strings. Cut off everything when you see your fourth projection, and immediately use elemental skill. This elemental skill will further give you two more instances of three mirror projection attacks, a total of six in the whole combo. These are the three rules in maximizing Alhatham's combo. So why N4, N3, NC at the start? The first 3 hits will be physical damage, and the 4th normal attack will be infused with Dendro and will immediately trigger the very first 3 mirror projection attack. The next is N3 which is enough to trigger the second projection in the last hit. Follow it up with the charge attack to create mirror because by this time, one mirror is about to disappear. This is the opening act for those who has high ping and casual players just like me. This whole combo of 3 mirror stack can last up to 14 to 15 seconds, which is perfect for Sincho, Beido, Official, Shinobu teams as such. Some teams will require shorter rotations, so I also calculated the quick use of elemental skill at the very start. I also did Ongabunga and tried to incorporate some N3 and NC in the combo. In the span of 14 seconds, it deals 2.77% damage compared to the base combo we had. Quick elemental skill Ungabunga deals 2.77% damage, and for N3 NC Ungabunga deals 6.2% damage. Not much of a difference. So don't be so hard, it's not the end of the world if you fail in some combo strings. If you fail to get 3 mirror stacks, it's just a few damage difference. Alhatham is forgiving to use, he doesn't punish you from making mistakes. He is not a complicated character. This is the actual result actual numbers I counted individually. Here is a showcase of me using Ungabunga and applying the three rules I mentioned earlier.